we got another video for y'all now this video is explaining the reasons why I stopped competitive now the reason I stopped competitive was back in if I'm not mistaken 2014 2015 and there was a good reason why I stopped because it made me think a lot now this was around the time where I started at a very young age and um, it was best for me to start off a bit better than anyone else so um, when I first got into competitive um, I was determined to get into a team and win for the best of my team and use teamwork use everything to actually be competitive because I was a competitive dude back then and not knowing the fact that how I am, um, I still have that competitive blood in me still. Um, but anyways, uh, it goes back to what I was saying. Basically, as that competitive nature goes on, it makes you realize that it's not even worth um, getting into competitive if your teammates don't even take it seriously. Now, I remember when I was watching one of these videos and... It made me realize something, because let me say this just for the benefit of the doubt. Um, for anyone who doesn't know who these guys are, just don't say nothing. Um, Aches and Killa. These guys are one of the toxic people in the com COD community. And the reason I mention that is because you also have to realize that that these guys always bring up one of the most glodious things and if they say something like that not knowing the future it becomes a problem in that scenario like for a prime example um i remember watching this video of ax talking to slasher that he will never win a damn thing in his career i was sitting here like yo is this dude serious? And then a year later into this, he wins a championship. So I'm sitting here like, okay, so you're clearly gloating in the fact that you have more championships than everybody else in the league. You're clearly gloating. And then not only that, you got, not only that, you shut your fucking mouth after what? A slasher won a championship? Dude, this is what I'm talking about when I say you clearly, and I'm just saying this, you clearly don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to just leave it at that and move on. Move on. And then when I went to go and do this team, there's a certain team I played with um... They were called the Gold Alliance. Gold Alliance was one of the um, few clans that were underground around that time. And uh, we started doing competitive. It was not too bad. The guys were all right. Um, they had good teammates um, and all that stuff. I remember one of them, and they were actually phenomenal. Um, and I think, as far as anything, they were a solid team. I give them a benefit of the doubt. So... When we went to go and, uh, when we went to go and, um, do scrims, because I first got, um, into it around a year later, and this was around the time we were starting to do Black Ops 3, and, um, we ran a few scrims, we ran a few practices, and, um, we had to just run some eights, see what we were going to be dealing with. I did really very well. I did very well for the team and all that, so it was alright. But here is the issue. And this is where I kind of bring it up in a scenario where you guys have to understand. The leader was super, super, and I'm just saying this from y'all to me, this dude was fucking trash. Like, the man literally almost went completely negative every game. And only getting like 16, uh, maybe 7 kills. I was like, yo, you need to step it up, man. And he's the leader of our team. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm like, yo, are you going to do better? Like, do I have to tell you to do better? You're our leader. So, um, we had one of these uh, scrims. Because I'll give you guys two prime examples of the scrims that happened. 
one of those scrims, he went literally in no BS. He went 11 and 39. We were trying to get him to not do this, right? Because he was struggling so bad to play the game, it made no sense. So we were we were trying to figure out what was going on with him. And even I tried to get some um, give some feedback on him, give some advice. And he just wasn't going to listen to me and said, Yo, mind your business, you don't know how this works. And I'm sitting here like, Yo, you're the one losing. So how are you going to get upset with me on that? Okay, fine, that's fair. We had an argument, and the next thing you know, everything was fine from there. And you know what happens next? The second game, this man goes 19... Oh, not 19. Ugh. I would have been surprised. He would have went... He went 9 and 36. I was sitting here like, Yo, what are you doing? So, after that, we both had an argument, and he kicked me out of the clan after that. So, yeah, that about sums it up. You want to buy some?